Recently, I've had a lot of people ask me about some of the pictures in my kitchen. A lot of my videos are here in the kitchen because I'm cooking or maybe we're sitting at the kitchen table or something like that. So I started thinking about it and I thought, well, you know, one of the traits of being an Appalachian is being a storyteller. And so I thought I've got a story about every picture hanging in my kitchen. So today I'm gonna to share those with you and I hope you enjoy them. This little sign hangs right when you come into my kitchen in the right near the door. And I found it at a yard sale. I don't remember what I paid for it, but it seems like it was maybe a quarter or something like that. It's really old. I'll read it to you. It says, the house by the side of the road. Let me live in a house by the side of the road where the race of men go by, the men who are good and the men who are bad, as good and as bad as I. I would not sit in the scorner's seat nor hurl the cynic's ban. Let me live in a house by the side of the road and be a friend to man. And that was by Sam Walter Frost is his last name. The reason I was attracted to it, it's really beautiful. There's some little flowers and a bird around the edge of it. I love anything old, so I love that it looks old, and, you know, I love that part. But for many years, Pap and Ray sung a song, Let Me Live by the Side of the Road, uh, and that's that's why it jumped out at me, and I just love it. It's been hanging there for years and years, and I guess it always will. For many years, I was a folk artist. I painted folk art, mostly angels in various configurations. I painted them and I went around to folk, folk art festivals and sold them and I made prints and sold them. I sold them on Etsy. I did that for a long time until finally I didn't. <laughs> I've not done it in many years, but I have some of my favorite ones that I kept, of course, and many of them are here in my kitchen. This is one of them. This is an angel you can see and she's holding the kind of holding a little, it's a mixed media I painted and then I've, I've glued on these little things that spell out welcome. So that's one of the many angels that I painted along the way, just on a piece of wood. I think that was something I, I don't remember I got at a yard sale or something like that. I would look for things like this that I could paint on that this one already had the little hanger and I don't remember what it said before I painted over top of it. It was probably likely may have even said welcome or happy home or whatever it was. And then I painted over top of it with my, my design. So this is one of my favorite angel paintings that I ever painted. And it's actually, again, it was on a piece of something. And I don't think I bought this at a yard sale. I think it was maybe Granny had it or something. That was a clock, just a cheap clock. On the back of it, there's a little square piece for where you put the battery that made the hands go and all that. Anyway, I used it. I, I painted over top of it. It's a mixed media, too. You can see the tree there, and then you can see the angel, and then it says Wonder at the top. That's one of my very favorite ones, so I, I never sold that one. I knew from the instant that I finished it, that was one I would keep with me forever. So these two hanging right here, again, one of my angels up there just says Peace. Uh, I really love that one. I, I love the colors. Red's one of my favorite colors against the gold and the black, so I liked that one. I kept it. And then down here is a turkey platter. So a lot of people ask me about this one and say, you know, was it handed down in your family? Because there maybe their mother, their grandmother, or someone had one. I actually got it at a yard sale. It was this wonderful yard sale. I met these two ladies um, when I was still working at the college. There was an instructor teaching a community, kind of a community computer class, so like a free class for the community. And one day she couldn't be there, so she got me to teach the class. And there was two sisters in it. And anyway, I found out they were having a yard sale during the class. They, it was kind of uh, one of those classes where it's people that literally know so little about the computer. You're showing them how to use the mouse and how to click here and how to, you know, that things like that. So it's a lot of hands-on and talking and stuff. Anyway, they told me they were having a yard sale and they were, they collected stuff. They loved old things and me and, um, Corey, me and Katie, I'm looking at Corey for a firm affirmation. Was it me and you? Me and Corey went to the yard sale and oh my goodness, it's the best yard sale ever. Anyway, that's where I got that. So I think of the two sweet sisters every time I see it and and you could use it definitely to serve stuff on, but it's so pretty. I, I wanted to hang it on the wall. So this is another one of the angels that I made. I really love that I, I did like a relief on the back. So you can see those little bouquets around her faintly in the in the background. And then again, red's one of my favorite colors. And in those days, I was crafting so much and, and painting. And the Corey and Katie would always, they called it creating. They'd help me. Let's create, Mama. Let's create. 
Anyway, people knew that we loved to do that. So uh, one of our friends, she had this collection. She had worked actually at a, I think it was when she was at a hair salon and whatever drink they had, I don't know what kind of drink that is, but it, that little bottle cap. And she thought they were pretty, so she just kept them. She was a crafter too, and she was going to use them. So she asked me one day if I'd like to have some, and I said, sure. So she gave us some. We glued them on magnets and, and done all kinds of things with them, but it just fit on the on this one. And so this was one of the ones, again, that I knew I, I would likely never give away because I liked it so much, or not give away a sale in one of my sales that I would just keep it. This is one of my very favorite pictures, and it's just a print. It's not really painted. Matt's mother, Miss Cindy, she got me this one, and I just love it. I love it. It's old. You can see the frame's old. It's really nice, but you can see the, the scene is what I love. It's like a almost like a family reunion or a, a get-together. The women are quilting, and then there's kids in the floor. There's men talking around the wood stove. There's somebody playing the piano. There's a baby. I mean, there's just so many things to see. There's kids over in the corner here. Looks like they're crafting while the women are actually doing their quilt and bee. It's just the most beautiful scene. I just love it. Um, I just think it's so lovely and really represents what I think about family. I love the multi-generational aspect of it. And I'm blessed to be in a family that's like that, that, that we'd be perfectly at home uh, in that landscape there. But it really ties into the Appalachian people too. The culture is so family centered that that's just, it's just exactly what would happen. And in other places I know too, I'm sure, but I can only speak to Appalachia because that's where I live. But that's just one of my favorite ones. I wish I could just dive right in there and, and hear what they're talking about and I uh, sit by the wood stove with the dog and it would be, be nice. So this big one that hangs behind my table is one that people often ask about because they can see it in the background. And it's just a print. It's not a painting. It's, you know, just a print. But again, it's a scene that I love because it just looks like it belongs, you know, in my area, of course, you know, a hundred years ago or something with the horses and, and being right there on the water. Maybe that was a river and you can see the houses up in the up, off the river up on the hills there and then the more of the settlement down down closer to the water just a beautiful beautiful scene so i got this picture i've had it forever for a long long time when me and matt were first married and the girls were you know i don't know six seven eight or whatever we we had it pretty hard in those days so it wasn't like i could go out and buy things like this but i had a, a dear friend and her mother and um, we would go, they, they were the ones that invited me, they would go to Atlanta in suburbs of Atlanta and go yard selling. And they had a, it was it had been my friend's great aunt that lived down there. And she would alert them when the, her neighborhood or maybe the next one over or whatever was having a yard sale. And we would go, we'd load up and we'd go. And we looked for, she had a little girl, according to Katie's age, they're still good friends till today. And we would look for, for clothes for them. I, I bought so many toys that I could buy at yard sales and then give them to Corey and Caddy for Christmas or birthdays or things like that. And anyway, so we would go and we just had the best time. We did that for several years. We would go every summer. So I was at one yard sale. You just go and if you've ever been to yard sales like that, it's just house after house after house. So you kind of park and walk to a house or two and then move your car and, you know, go a little bit further. And so I walked up to this one and it was just like, it's, I've always thought yard sales are like that. If you're somebody that yard sales, you'll either find nothing or it's like everything they have is something that you would have, that your taste, you know, what you're looking for. Anyway, so I walked up to this yard sale and, and I saw this picture and there's actually two that went with it that are long, skinny, narrow ones. And I still have them. They're just put up. They're in my room and they're just of a house, like a tall house, more of a modern themed um I don't know, really modern, I wouldn't say that, but different than this scene, but still they match, they went on each side of it. Anyway, I, was, I looked at them and thought, man, those are pretty, and then I walked past them because I thought, well, there's no way I could afford them, they're probably, you know, asking 50 or 60 dollars or something like that for them, and then right as I was walking past them, a lady said, how much would you take for this, and the lady selling it said 10 dollars, and then she just went on. The lady that had asked how much it was, she just was like, oh, okay, and went on and didn't buy it. And I just immediately was like, ah, please, I want it. So I got this and those other two pictures. And I think I got those for $5, the two, and this for $10. 
So I was so excited about it. And then while I was walking off, there was people at the yard sale trying to buy it from me. Like, how much did you pay? I'll double the price. And I was like, no, no, thank you. I'm, I'm going to take it home. I was thinking I don't have anything like this in my house. But um, anyway, all these years later, I've really enjoyed it. And I think my friend's mother even told me, if you ever decide to sell that, you let me know because <laughs> I'll buy it. But um, I've never, never thought about selling it just because I love the scene and I could just imagine myself walking down the dirt road with Corey and Katie, you know, holding their hand or Matt fishing there. It looks like some people's fishing along the edges and there's boats on the water. So it's just one of my, one of my favorite scenes for sure. But that's the story of how I ended up with it. Bought it at a yard sale. Hanging right beside the, the large picture there that I just talked about is this Lord's Supper. And this is like a plaster version of the Lord's Supper. And it was Granny's. She had a brother, older brother, Junior, who really loved antiques. And he was just always, he lived in the Detroit area and he was always looking for things. And um, he would go to old places they were tearing down and things like that and find different things. And I'm sure he went to estate sales and yard sales and all those sort of things. And sometimes he would bring things back home when he'd come to visit and he'd give them to, to mother or her other siblings or his mother or whatever. So Granny ended up with this one, ever how she did, and it hung in her kitchen my whole growing up years. And at some point, she asked me if I wanted it, and I said, yes, I've always loved it. I, I want it. So I'm not sure of the history of it, but I know it's old because of it was old when Junior gave it to Mother, and then, of course, I've had it for a good long time, and then it, it was in her kitchen when I was growing up. It's really a unique, I guess you would say, Lord's Supper, but I really love it. This is sort of a little alcove here before you go into the living room. And again, it's one of my one of my angels there. Got two cats or three cats with her. And that was actually one of the very first ones that I ever did that I thought maybe I maybe this is, you know, maybe I could sell this. Maybe I could whatever uh, that I was satisfied with, I guess you would say. So that was one of my very, very first ones. And I showed it to Matt's mother and Miss Cindy. She was a framer. She framed photos. So she took it took it home with her to Black Mountain and framed it for me and brought it back. And she might have given it to me for Christmas or something that year or my birthday or something. But um, it's one of my very first ones I did. And I still like it after all these years. This is the end of the cabinet here of the pantry in this little alcove. I have had various things hanging here over the years. You can see there's some one that, place that needs to be closed up. But anyway, depends on what I've got hanging there, whether it covers that up. But I change them out ever so often. But this one, there's a plate above it, but this one right here that you can see, it's an old plate that came from my uncle and aunt. Faye and Woodrow Rogers. That was Faye was Granny's, one of her older sisters, and that was one of their plates. And I've never used it as a, a platter, but they used it a lot. And the reason I know they used it a lot is because thinking of church functions and, and family get-togethers is because on the back of it, I've left it all these years, there's a piece of masking tape and it says Faye Rogers so that people would know that that was her plate. When I wouldn't take that tape off for anything. Um, I really love it, though. I love the the actual plate because I love the rooster and the flowers, and it just looks like me, looks like something I would like. It's my taste, but I really, it's meaningful that it was Faye and Woodrow's, too. So this is the one that hangs above the one from Woodrow and Faye. Katie got me this. It's just beautiful, isn't it? I love the trillium there and then the, the gold and the green. It's it's old, it's cracked. I don't know if that shows up or not, but it's really beautiful. I like thinking about whoever bought it the first time, you know, and did they eat off of it or did they just put it on the wall like I'm doing? It's really a pretty plate though. This hangs near my stove. You've probably seen it in some of my videos. A beautiful ear of corn there. Nancy Simpson, I used to work for her. I cleaned her house. I helped her outside in the yard and she gave me this. She's since passed away, Nancy has, but she was a wonderful poet, a very well-known poet, actually. So she had wrote beautiful poetry about the mountains and about her life and about other things. But she gave me this, and I loved it because it's old. I love the old things. Of course, I loved it because of the picture of the corn. Corn plays such an important role in the foodways of Appalachia. 
And also because Pap sung a song, I'll try to find it and, and link to you, link to it in the description because it's such a beautiful song, Sweet Corn. Uh, and you think it's about corn, and it is, but it's also about the end of life. Um, beautiful, beautiful song. So I'll see if I can find it. But that's where I got it, and I love it. Every time I look at it, I kind of think about the wonderful corn that we eat, but also about Pap and about dear Nancy Simpson. You may have noticed this one too behind me over there, hanging under my cabinets. This is a pig, obviously. It's, I guess, supposed to be like a cutting board or maybe a trivet that you set stuff on. But Corey got it for me one year for Christmas. I just love it and I decided I wanted to hang it on the wall. So Matt put a little hanger on it for me and I, it's been hanging there ever since meaningful to um to me because of the blind pig and the acorn and that's why Corey got it over the years a lot of people have got me pigs and acorns and i dearly treasure them all this is another one that hangs between my on my backsplash between my cabinets and the counter katie got me this one for christmas just a real simple decoupage uh, little piece she probably found it in a thrift store or something really pretty though and it says sweet to my taste song of solomon too so I love that reference, but mostly I just love the scene, the beautiful flowers there, and then the apples in the bowl. Uh, kind of looks like my kitchen on certain days. I love that it's decoupage too. When I was a young girl, Granny, you know, over the years, decoupage comes and goes in the craft world. People love it. It kind of gets in and then it goes away and comes back. Well, when I was a small girl, Granny got into decoupage and she was making all kinds of a different little plaques like this and so they were just so beautiful i was just amazed with them she made some holly hobby ones for my room and she made this really pretty one that's still in her kitchen and i, I just love the scene of it and she cut the pictures out of magazines or books or wherever she got them anyway so it reminds me of that and then i went through my own stage of doing decoupage um, over where i showed you the plates on the wall I have a set that I put there sometimes that I decoupaged and painted. And so I really love that. It's it's lots of fun to decoupage. Um, and you can, you can make some really pretty things. Like I think this is really pretty. Even the very simple ones though. I of course let Corey and Katie help me when they were young and they would they would plaster deer pictures on something on a piece of wood for Matt. And you know, he'd, he'd just love it. And they'd be excited that they made something for their daddy. Well, I hope you enjoyed seeing all the pictures in my kitchen and all the hearing all the stories about them and the reasons that I like them. I hope you enjoyed that. And if you did, please let me know and maybe I'll show you the, the pictures that hang throughout the rest of my house. As always, I'm always grateful when you stop by to help me celebrate Appalachia.